Hi, in today's video, I'm going to remake Super Mario Brothers from the SNES. I'm doing this to have a much better understanding of SFML and C++. My main game engine is Godot, but I feel like stretching my limits, and what better way to learn than to get sued by Nintendo. I started off with a blank window where the game is played. I soon after got Mario drawn to the screen with some controls. To make Mario look more alive, I gave him animations. This wasn't really challenging, but due to having such a rubbish sprite sheet, it definitely took longer. We can't have Mario flying, so I introduced him to gravity. To make the 2D camera, I used the view class from SFML and made it move towards Mario's velocity. After hours of debugging, I finally found the solution to why it wouldn't move. It was one line of code. To make levels, I made my own level editor. This way, making levels would be faster, pixel perfect to the original, and users would be able to make their own world. My level editor has the ability to change the size, position, type, and colour of a tile. In my opinion, there's no point in having a level editor if you can't save the levels you make, so I've got to work on serialization. For anyone who does not know what serialization means, it's basically saving and loading. It's finally time to create level 1. While making the first level, I had an image as a reference to make every tile exactly like the original. Now all the main features were implemented, I thought it was time to make Mario break coin blocks. The coin blocks are a separate class to all the static tiles. The main focus when creating the coin blocks was animations, serialization, and collision. As I was working on the background, I noticed a problem. Mario could collide with each individual tile. This is because everything is stored in an array called static tiles. To fix this, I moved the background tiles into a new array where Mario could not collide with them. Quick note here for people who are experienced with C++. When I say vector, I mean array, but SFMO users are vector too, so I'm just going to call it an array. My next step is to create the pipes that lead to another part of the level. First, I have to find a space for where the pipe is going to go. The pipe's properties can be edited within the level editor, but for precise fine tuning, it will need to be edited in the level data file. The direction that Mario has to be going when entering the pipe is displayed by two numbers at the top of the screen. They can be edited by holding down the T key and any directional button. For that section of the level, I made the floating coins. The way I did this was to create an extension of the coin box class. The only thing I changed was the position where the animations are located. I then added a simple hitbox so Mario can collect them. At the moment, there is no score, so it's just been deleted from an array. To make the mushrooms that pop out the coin blocks, I made a new class called Pickable Entity. When initialising an instance of the Pickable Entity, you have to define a type. This is because I want to include the Fire Flower, as well as any other entity that affects Mario. I added a constant force to the mushroom depending on its last hit. I thought that copying over Mario's collision over to the mushroom would just work, but in the end I had to rewrite it all. Once Mario touches the mushroom, it will change Mario into his larger self. There was so much to change or completely rewrite in Mario's code that would support his new look. For example, his collision. Once Mario touches a mushroom, he becomes 16 pixels bigger in height. His collision does not account for this, so I had to change it. Next, I had to change the animation system. Remember what I said about the sprite sheet? Well, it made it at least two times longer to get working properly. The final things I did in this video was to make the normal tiles breakable by Big Mario and added control support. In the next video, I plan on getting two player working and more levels created. Anyways, thanks for watching.